Hello everyone, welcome back to channel Geek Nepal. Today I'll be working on the timer instruction and move instruction. Alright, let's begin by adding a normally open contact and a coil, output coil, okay. Let's define this uh, as a switch. Okay, let's define this output as a motor motor okay if the switch is pressed the motor will turn on right but we want to add uh, some time delay to run the motor okay how do we do that is let's add a normally open contact let's define this uh, as a memory bit we have used before when the system is ready we want to add a timer okay and let's define this timer here this is a five second delay timer close and let's set this to five seconds okay and let's connect this to here now we also want to add a normally open contact up here and timer bit okay so let's save the program and simulate this you saw that the timer was running and once the timer reaches five seconds the motor turns on why do we need to delay the timer to run the motor in many applications if you have a number of motors then to reduce the amount of inrust current at the same time you will have a different time to start the different motor that that's how you you work on limiting the inrust current okay let's stop here even if the switch is pressed the motor will not turn on if the system is not ready if the system is ready and the switch is pressed that's when the system is ready now the switch is pressed first let's see what happen if the switch is not pressed if the switch is not pressed the motor will not run on because the logic here is the switch and the system both should be on okay that's how it gets on okay already now let's work on the move instruction here what I want to do is add uh, add a normally open contact and use the same memory bit system ready close okay when the system is ready I want to move the current timer, current time value, okay, to data register, okay, data register D, zero zero zero, okay. Already, now I also want to add one more move instruction here okay let's add a line here okay deselect this on here we want to set this to five seconds I mean and move that to data register one okay and we also want to same time add a move instruction not the move we will do the subtraction here okay let's define this as data d1 preset value right and this one is the data register one current time 
and we want to move that to data register 2 okay let's close this and draw a line from here and add that to here okay save the program Version of error detail fell under the below. Hello. Okay, vertical line is not properly connected. Okay, so let's delete this. Okay, save this program. Let's simulate this. What happens is you will you see the data is moving from the current timer to the data register one. The preset value to is moved to um, data register one, and the preset value minus current value is subtracted and saved on the data register one. Okay, I mean two. Let's begin this one more time. Already, this also not solid. Okay. Timer is timing when the system is ready and the data has been moved. Okay, but the motor is not running because the switch is off. Already, you can see that it's turn on here. Initially, timer is counting three, two, one because we have very low number five seconds timer. Right, let's change this timer to fifteen seconds. Okay, one. Okay, and set this to 15. Okay, and we'll see clearly what's going on. Okay, already timer is timing. The current timing is 13 seconds. Moving to data register. Oh, we have a D0, D1, and D2. So you can see how you move the data from one register to the data register okay so basically today we did program a timer uh, delay and we use the move instruction how to use the move instruction from a timer register to data register that's how you move the data from different register to data register okay for the move instruction thank you so much for your time i'll see you in the next